train some uh, escrima with us. And uh, we're going to talk, uh, we showed you a little bit earlier with the walnuts, how to work on training your accuracy. That's going to become important. And actually, one thing we're going to talk about today, which uh, we don't talk about a lot, is using a weapon against somebody who doesn't have a weapon. Uh, if you have a weapon you're trying to use as a self-defense situation, you can allow an inferior weapon, which in this case will be the empty hands, to overcome the superior weapon, which you have, if you're the person with the stick, if you allow uh, mentality of things to come in. So we're going to talk about how you can use a weapon like this to help you if you have somebody who's really trying to hurt you and trying to use this as a self-defense situation. Remember, the stick represents a lot of things. Uh, and one of the reasons why we use the rattan stick is because it's not really going to hurt you super bad if you get smacked with it. So it is possible for somebody to take a shot and then barrel in on you. So we want to kind of talk about how to deal with that and take control of the situation if we're using a weapon to help us in a self-defense situation. So hold on to your seats. We're going to show you some awesome stuff. All right, to demonstrate something uh, that I'm going to be talking about to you with the stick is there's a thing that they call a 28-foot rule, or if you have a guy with a knife, and I'm an officer, I am not qualified with a pistol anyway. Just keep that in mind when you see what we're doing. And what they say is if, if she's got 28 feet and a gun and a knife out, and I have my gun in my holster, she can come across distance to stab me and will get me before I get my pistol out and I'm able to shoot her. Okay? Uh, and that is a trained officer. Okay? Because what usually will happen is you get you're trying to get your, your three-point stance to your do your position. So and they have found that somebody who knows what they're doing, or even if they're hiding that knife or whatever, and they're running across distance to stab me, they will tend to stab me before I get my pistol out and can engage. Uh, many people would say that the knife is an inferior weapon to a gun, okay? Uh, so with that 28 foot rule, she's running across to stab me, and I'm trying to get here, boom, she's gonna stab me by the time I get my pistol out, okay? Now, if you watch some videos by a guy named, uh, they call him Instructor Zero, he is a gun fighting martial arts. And what I noticed about him, and it's very similar to our intercepting instance. You start with him, start with him. So what he did is instead of standing and waiting for Jane to come at him, as he sees the threat coming toward him, he would back up, boom, 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 boom. And so he's not allowing that part of the game to go. There were a couple different options. Like he would fall, he would roll onto his back and use his feet to keep him back. But keeping that distance, and I want you to kind of think about that as we're doing what we're going to do with this thing. Now, same kind of thing can happen if I'm like a super tough dude, okay, who can take a shot, and I'm angry, okay, and I got this person here who's got a stick, and I'm deciding I'm going to barrel through and grab her and get inside of it. If Jenny stands there and swings, so as I'm coming in, I might eat a shot, boom, but I'm going to be able to grab her, okay, get inside and take away the advantage of the weapon. The advantage of the weapon, one of the, the advantages of it is that you have this extra distance, okay? So what we're going to do instead is if Jenny's back, okay, and as she's coming towards me, man, I'm using this stick. And when we talk about accuracy, I'm thinking about eyes, I'm thinking about whatever's getting in. If she throws a kick, man, I can hit that, okay? So I'm going to use the stick and the distance of the stick to keep the person out until I'm ready to go in, okay? So it's about moving. I don't have to just back up. As she's coming forward, I'm moving. And as long as I stay where she can't reach me with a kick, I'm pretty golden. And I'm trying to break whatever little finger bones I can hit. If I can poke her in the eye, hit her in the throat, hit her in the groin, whatever I gotta do. But you're using that thing. So as she moves forward, I use the reach advantage of this thing to keep her back until I see a good shot. And then if I want, I can come in and secure her with the weapon. Or I can stay back all day until you deter that person from coming in. Okay, so we're gonna show you a way to kind of drill this too. One thing uh, we did just say for this or for any other intercepting kind of thing, when you're training the interception portion, if you're the person with the stick who's trying to keep me away, don't enter, let me come to you because you're trying to keep your distance in this particular drill. Now again, this is not the whole thing because she can absolutely try to grab me and attack me on the inside too. But for now, we're working at keeping our distance and not let the person get in the grabbing range. So we're gonna go again, one more time. Because it's fun getting hit in the head with a stick. Sometimes when you have armor on. <laughs> Broken hand happened. 